<laughs> and thank you everybody that I like that's why I like to just like it's, I just like to have a conversation with you, with you guys and try to adjust on you know just how to just have how to have a conversation with people who are just texting and, and text with multiple people not sometimes that's difficult you know all I ask is for a chance to just y'all to believe in me again, you know what I mean? Believe in my abilities and my talents, I prove it to you every day, I show you, <clears throat> you know, and I have complete faith that I will be recognized as one of the greatest music producers ever to live, as well as one of the greatest artists, but my real name is to be... Do I think I'm a narcissist? That's kind of messed up. Well, uh, well, not messed up because obviously I feel like Aaron has done particular things to get himself in the situation where people um, aren't trusting him. He's literally, was he not just saying he wants people to believe in him again? That's like, that's, uh, that's deep for Aaron standards, I guess. When has Aaron ever said that he wants people to believe in him again? Because usually he... He he comes to the point of view that, like, he never lost it. You know what I mean? But that that kind of sounds like he's saying, "I want people to trust me again." Uh, at times, yes, I do. Hmm. That's okay. You that that's that's okay. You can be, especially when you do what I do. You're you don't. What's your shoe size? AKA, you're you you don't you couldn't. Staying a day in my shoes. No offense. I do. But I got gotcha. you. If you guys want to ask questions, like invasive ones, you can donate. Otherwise, I'm not going to indulge, you know, indulging in entrepreneurial endeavors and being really smart about what I'm doing with my money. When you donate this money to me, you guys help me have a better life. And that is so f***ing generous of you. I can't even believe it sometimes. Really, like a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, what it, whatever it is, it, it's so generous because you don't have to do that. Spread the word that you know, I do YouTube videos about my, my music, my production, how, how 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 great I am, my passion for it, it, how much it means to me, how much it saved my life, the recognition that I want and I feel I would deserve. Even when I started when I was 19 years old on House of Carters with my family on E when we did our reality show. And I literally, and I even had my own family all call me a thug, making fun of me. But now, I did it. The Love album, I proved myself. And even though I proved myself, I still didn't get the recognition for that. Producing it, co-producing it, writing it, executive producing it, directing my videos, and investing all of my money into it. Over six figures, and then never getting paid from Sony for it. And it's at like a half a billion streams. And if anybody knows that in the industry, they would know how much money is owed to me because of that. Even though I sold my masters to Sony and Steve Zapp, Steve Zapp owns the masters. So every time I come on here and I play any of my love songs or sing anything to do with love, Steve Zapp and Sony Records strike my channel and they try to ruin it for some reason. What's up, you guys? It's Ale from Catalyst here. Uh, Aaron Carter was live at damn near, you know, 1 a.m. Eastern time and was was, you know, kind of given given us a little emotional speech. Melanie was trying to get him to go to bed. Aaron snuck into the bathroom and, and said all this. Yeah, she was imported from Newtonburg, Germany. She's long haired. Very, very long. Very, very old, old bloodline. bloodline. I think you see incredible blood. Like, it's crazy. They've been breeding her. Bloodline for ever. Dude, he looks messed up right now. Since German Shepherds were around. Mm hmm. Hello. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the Piero tonight. When you do don't know, you give me the ability, like I said, to have these kind of protection dogs and, of course, I get restraining orders and my guns taken away and all that kind of stuff. So, but. You know, just taking a day at a time and just trying to keep my cool and just not let these people get to me. So, 
Don't let them get to you and always fight the good fight. Fight fire with fire. That's what we do. LMG is fucking savages. And notice I don't make this shit about myself. I don't, oh, the Aaron Carter gang. No. LMG is about a group of people who stand against bullying, malicious prosecution, the truth, the real truth. And I don't like that. <clears throat> Be careful. I'm a troll slayer because of you. And you know what I've noticed? I empower a lot of people. And I don't mean this in an egotistical way, but I truly empower a lot of people in a very philanthropic, uh, philanthropist way. Philanthropic way? Philanthropic. In a very philanthropic way. Sorry. So it's good to see all you guys here donating, you know what I mean, for the music. You know, I love that. No, the police did not come in my house today. Animal control came today because people are stalking me and trying to ruin my life and all kinds of crazy weird trying to make me paranoid and I'm just chilling and they called animal control and tried to take our dogs away from us um, all my dogs away and instead I ended up getting all their license and uh, everything uh, right away and I also donated $320 <laughs> to the uh, animal shelter and but one thing that I saw people bringing up is that if Aaron has had these dogs for a while wouldn't he already have the licensing and registration for them so that's how I fight fire with fire. I won. It's just not really about winning. It's just like, hey, like back up, you know? Like back up because LMG is strong. Right? She protects the lion. The lioness is protecting the lion. So, and, and I plan on donating a lot more. I've actually gotten dogs out of rescue places, you know? And uh, found them good homes. I trained an AKC uh, husky. Nobody talks about that. Right? What do they talk about? Lies. Everything I've done is legal. I don't get in trouble because I'm a good human being. So just keep that in mind. I don't, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but I'm real. And I'm honest and I'm not afraid of being human. If that makes sense. Yes? No? Maybe some? I don't know. Yes, happy get out of the day. Yeah, so I trained Coda, you know, and I rescued English Bulldogs, and they always try to make it something that is not. Instead of being like, wow, look, at, he's actually really a good dude. Even though he struggles and goes, has his ups and downs, at least he's doing good for the last three years. At least, uh, you know, I'll give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> That's fine. These are the tools I learned going to rehab, is that you don't need validation from other people. I don't need validation. This is how I became so strong when I went to rehab for three months at Owl House. This is why I became this strong. Because I, I, I had to let all of my truths and secrets and and make amends for my shortcomings. Hey, please out of the closet. Um, and, and, and make amends for all my shortcomings and, and par participate in the 12 steps and my aftercare. And... But who do I need in life, Richard? I need myself. That's who I need in life. And my fiance. That's who? My family. Aww. What are you singing? Be careful having a grand sense of self. Stay humble. Well, yeah, but I'm not always going to be humble. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm going to make sure that people do pay homage to me and they look at me as an inspiration and someone who was able to be a phoenix that rise from the ashes and resurrected my career single-handedly and with all of you guys listening to my music downloading my music coming to my concerts and donating you know zach root said why are your eyes pinpointed shut the fuck up my eyes are not pinpointed because i'm right in the light I wonder how I have such a brilliant head. So, um, but this stuff, oh, by the way, if you're going to be a fucking try to be smart, find the right dog. Does that look like our dog? Uh-uh. Does that look like our dog? <laughs> no, that's, no. That's an older dog. She's 11 months too. Look at the markings. Does that look oh like Oh my her? God, dude. No. That other oh, dog but, is darker. But she's but darker. That dog has white on its back. 
she has a complete ridgeback black back. Look at 